Three nothing twins Yankees threatening. And the pitch rocked to right field. Tie game. Consistently, and it worked because it was painted black as soon as he went middle. Didi made him pay. But he, he, they don't fear his slider yet. They know he doesn't have it. It allows in a 3 2 count Didi Gregorius to kind of sell out on that heater. Another one in the heart of the plate. Another big hit by the Yankee shortstop. Postseason's off to a pretty entertaining start, wouldn't you say? First inning. <laughs> And this place is electric. Quieted down on the top of the first, but Didi getting them on their feet. If they're going to be aggressive, I don't have to throw strikes. For a hitter, how good's his stuff? Can I lay off of the balls? And Gregorius has the base hit, the first of the night for New York. And when you get to this time of the year, Right, everyone wants to do their part. Everyone wants to end, turn it over to the next two great bullpen arms that Francona has. Gregorius with a drive to right field and gone! Sir Didi's second of the postseason. surprised by the pitch you see where they wanted to go but where it ended up is right in that nice wheelhouse for Didi they had buried that slider in I thought they'd go double up and go to that back foot instead they try to throw it up and away and up and away the wrong way for Corey Kluber and this Indians crowd boy that looked a lot like the two strike fastball he got from Irvin Santana last Tuesday in the Bronx and in fact it uh, was to imagine anybody filling those enormous shoes against left-handers. You saw him swing at some sliders. And Andrew Miller tried to sneak the cheese by him, and there's not a lot of wasted movement with two strikes for Didi Gregorius. He might take bigger swings before two strikes, but watch how compact this is. No wasted movement, foot down, and he gets the barrel of the bat to the ball on a guy that's as nasty as it gets. You know, John, for whatever reason, there is no MVP awarded in the division series. Right. First of all, that's got to change. I'm not sure why that's the case. If there was, however, you're looking at him. Yeah, definitely. I mean, at least at this point. Of Rust, it was. Fastball in. Jabbed him. Staying out of the windup. Gregorius. Base hit. Going ahead run is on. And we'll 
see how much leash Verlander has here in the night. Looking to try to hit a homer. Aaron Judge. Here's Gregorius. Why not? If it's fair, it's a hit. It's a hit. As they play Gregorius to pull. Just perfection by D.D. Gregorius, a two-out bunt single. The most mistakes are made by these type of hitters by thinking you have to make a perfect bunt. Away from his mechanics and just funky enough. Here's one into left center field. This ball is drilled and down to the wall. Gregorius will turn and go. The throw not made. It's a triple. Left side. No chance for an out. Over to third is Judge. On a base hit by Gregor. Runner goes. Ground ball. Altuve can't get it. Judge scores. And it's 4-0 on a hit by Gregorius. 2-0. Another hit. Belongs to Gregorius. And. And it's cut off by Gonzalez. What a play. But a double either way. These are just two heavyweights. The Yankees in their offense. Gregorius hits one into right. A base hit. It falls in front of Reddick. And that will bring in 24-year-old Power hitting catcher Gary Sanchez representing the tying run. Second half's been a little different, especially September. He's got an eight ERA, but he's well rested, ready to bring it tonight. Celebrated his 27th birthday two days ago. And D.D. Gregorius, little chopper. And the shift was on. No chance to get the speedy Gregorius. The A's do shift a lot. They try to put their defenders in the right position. And that time it might have cost him. Well, the way the shift was there against Gregorius, it really was only Chapman who could have made that play. Once it got past him, it got to Lowry. There's no way they're going to throw out the speedy Gregorius. But needing his glove at shortstop. And a bouncer up the middle. Kinsler ranging over, gloves it, can't corral it. And everybody's safe. And that'll be an infield hit for D.D. Gregorius. And one away for D.D. Gregorius. And there's a line drive into right center. Base hit. That will split the gap. Bradley cuts it off. Gregorius into second with a belly flop. It's a double. Second hit for the Yankees. Well, gets a first pitch slider from Porcello and hits it right in the gap. A bullet that Bradley Jr. ran down, but the belly flop or Superman slide into second base. Not taking any chances is Didi. Especially with Bradley throwing. Judge a leadoff walk. Here's a one-two and a bouncing ball. That's through. Base hit. Judge will stop at second. Gregorius with a two-strike single. And the tying run will back in this ninth inning. Well, that ball was supposed to be up in the strike zone. Kimbrell missed his spot. It was down. And Didi with the base hit through the hole. Right. The team playing. They didn't let him slide. Globo Jim. Dodger wrench. Oh, Dodge a ball. Dodge ball. Uh huh. That is a swinging bunt. It spins inside the bag. And an infield hit for D.D. Gregorius. Well, D.D. could use that. He's been hoping for in his script. Putting together his lineup. Hoping the guys that were hurt would not miss a beat. And they haven't. It's been amazing. As whole as they've been maybe all season. Right time for that with the postseason arriving. One, two. Cross down the line. If it's fair, it's gone. Grand slam, Gregorius.
does it again to Minnesota. The Yankees seven and the Twins nothing. Well, indeed he hits them. They're going to be pulled. Pulls it down the line, a fair ball. And Gregorius does it to the Twins again. RBI single makes it 3 0. His 29th RBI in his last 13 games against Minnesota. It's been amazing. Second, third, seventh, and here in the ninth, but looking for more with just one out. Here's Mays 1 0. Gregorius rips it through the right side base hit and another RBI. Torres in to score. Two big runs for the Yankees here in the ninth. They lead it 5 1. That's where sometimes you have to use what you see. That's fair down the right field line. Gregorius with a good play made out and right by Tucker is held to a one out, or rather two out single. Good play to get to that. That had extra bases written all over it. Go That's on. why you have to be able to, to manage both of them. Opposite field base hit Gregorius. Single in front of the top of the back from Tommy John surgery this year. That's off the end of the bat for a base hit and breaks that string of 10 straight with many balls. And that's not a good combination right now when you're in a funk. Gregorius had a big moment here in the division series with a grand slam in game two against Minnesota. Two hits in this LCS, six for 27 now overall in the postseason. Coming back from Tommy John surgery this year. That's off the end of the bat for a base hit. And breaks that string of 10 straight, retired by Verlander. And we'll bring Urshela to the plate. Urshela, unfound, I mean, just newfound success at the plate this year. Had a monster season where nobody, nobody saw coming. He struggled in the postseason. He's traditionally an aggressive early count hitter. He's displayed some power. The Astros have been able to contain him. Brian Cashman the GM made some decisions coming into the season and then within the season with how he shaped this roster as any GM would obviously but the decisions were with regard to the rotation he went out and traded for tonight's starter James Paxton didn't make a deal with the trading deadline for that is a rocket down into the corner. Gregorius will dig for two. Throw by Reddick is late. It's a two out double. And an opportunity now for the Yankees here in the second, down by three. We have to find a way to get LeMahieu out. He makes everything work. There's one in the left. Gregorius is on base for the second time tonight. Two for four. And Ken Rosenthal, he is a potential free agent to be.